In this video, I'm going to take just a quick overview of the auto rigger in action so that we can just get a basic idea of the standard workflow that you will go through when rigging a character on any given day. So here we have just this simple male model, nothing particularly special or complex to it, and we don't need a particularly special or complex rig for it. If we notice the weight mapping that I've used here, I'm opting to use Lightwave's bone fall-off weights. This enables you, of course, to create very simple weight maps that capture whole areas, and it's effectively a kind of separation weights, where we just weight up the main chunks of the body. So, for instance, the arms, hands, the head, each foot, leg, neck, so on, the torso, and so on. So with this mesh and layout, we're ready to begin. I'll launch the body builder here. I'm going to use the default nulls to form rig. I'll begin by pre-fitting the starter component of the rig here to roughly fit the scale of my mesh. And we'll just use the default standard humanoid preset. Click create rig and the rigger will go through building our structure for us. And when it's done, we find ourselves here in fitting mode and we can begin fitting the rig into our model. We grab the markers, simply manipulate them into position just using Lightwave's standard move and rotate tools in order to position things where we need them to go. So we can fit in here a spine, got a little hips point there, some control handles for the spine. Let's fit these spine joints like this. Pop the neck in place somewhere around there. The head, more or less there where the head will be pivoting. You can bring the eyes into position like this. Get them in where the eyes go like that. Start fitting the arms. Got little clavicle points here for the shoulder lift. Of course, the actual main arm itself into my mesh somewhere around there-ish. Scale that down until the arms fit nicely. Get the wrist point in place. Scale it if we want to fit the hands and the fingers there. Reasonably straightforward little fitting process. Just manipulating the markers around in this fashion. Pretty quick and easy, all told. And we are fitting the remaining joints there for the thumb. Get those just in the correct places as we need them to be. There we go, get them in from the different angles, of course, so as we've got them fitted in properly, just like that. Check the positioning of that elbow joint there. Let's make sure that these legs are well fitted in place. Get our knee joint in properly there. Same with our ankle joint, get that on point. We can set up the foot sole system here, which marks out, of course, the ground plane for the feet, as well as various contact points on the foot from which our IK reverse foot setup will function there. All of these little contact and pivot points, sure that any control items are as we want them to be. I'll just hide away the actual markers here, leaving me just the bones. Here in setup mode, the only bones that we see are those that are going to be deforming our rig. So I can just go around assigning all of these weight maps. Get these guys here for the torso. Same for my clavicle bones, those are torso as well. Assign my arm and hand bones to those weight maps there. Select all of those quickly. Plonk them over to the hand. Neck and head, of course each leg. The left leg and here the right leg. And of course, easily here, just get each foot also done. Let's hit rig fit, and the rigger will now go through and actually set up the control rig itself. And there we go, our rig is built. We've got our controllers here, and there it is, working quite nicely. Got our IK there, working on the legs. By default, start posing him in this sort of fashion, twist stuff around, turn his foot there. It's wonderful. Got all of our pivot points in correctly for the tipping of the feet here, and getting them acting on point as they need to. And we can see that our rig is operating pretty nicely. Maybe a bit of attenuation to the weight maps there for the shoulders. Or we can play with things such as the fall off distance there, which helps us out in different ways. Start playing with things like the joint compensation there look at the different joints, how they behave, see where we need to add some compensation to fill things out. You can see, for instance, his wrist here, which is just twisting harshly. We can perhaps come back to the forearm, deform a portion there, pop some twist 
onto it so if we go nice distributed twist into our wrist head and neck all functioning just like this and should we want some different control options then we could come in and start editing our parts like this so perhaps we give him IK arms there we go switch his arms over to IK control in this instance works out pretty well same here for the right side again we maybe want to come in and do the joint compensation over there so we have the same action there on the right and left hand sides of the rig and there we go our rig is all set up and functional and we're ready to begin animation pretty fast pretty easy and of course completely flexible if we have decided that we've got something a bit wrong a joint is out of place we need to alter the positions of things of course we just go back into fitting mode anytime we like and we're returned to the markers mode and we can tweak and edit the positions of things to get slightly more fine little adjustments on them as we find the need to do reposition joints or mainline controllers and of course swap back and forth between rig and fit as much as we like if we don't like a part we can start removing them we can come in and start adding more custom parts via the modular sections of the bodybuilder here since we've used a nulls deform rig we can start adding some custom deformers to get better control over his shaping and there we have it that is pretty much all there is at the most basic level to using rig it to quickly build and auto rig your characters from scratch